Hello, hello, hello. You hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very teacher. much. A pleasure to see you. <clears throat> not no not I am from Barcelona and you I am Antonio. And you? Okay. Good evening.
Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, Ana Beatriz. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, don't talk, don't talk. <clears throat> okay, let me check out the attendance. Okay, say present, as soon as you hear your name, Adriana del Carmen. Present. Okay, welcome. Ana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Okay. Ana Lilia. Hello, Escobar. good evening. Escobar. Selina Guadalupe. Diana Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay. Eric. Present. Francis Elizabeth. Here. Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, sir. Welcome. Laura Carolina. Laura. Laura, are you there, Laura? Hi, Hi teacher. Hi, it's there, it's there, it's there. Okay, it's welcome. There. I'm here. Maria Concepcion. Present, teacher. Maria Elena. Maria Elena Guadalupe. Not here, okay. Mario Ernesto. Presentation. Welcome. Mayra Veralice. Not here. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Welcome. 
Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Now here. Yesenia Liseta Asensio. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, we are ready to start now. Teacher, aquí estoy cuando me llamó, había perdido la conexión, pero aquí estoy, Ana Lilia. Ana Lilia, let me do it now. Ana Lilia is here, okay. Thank you. Okay, let us start now. Here we go. Okay, this is video conference number 11, review and practice of vocabulary related with the seminars as well as, uh, as, well as uh, CPL. Then we are going to start uh, with the reading. I hope that you can see it very well. I need three different biologists who want to start reading. The topic, the perfect uh, workplace. And we have a question, what is your workplace like? Tell us and see how other places compare. Who wants to read the first part? Uh, me teacher. Okay. Diana. Uh, okay. My workplace is cooler than any office I ever seen. Well, working here is really stimulating. I share a table with my co-workers and the co workplace is flooded with light. Getting free meals is great. And there are relaxing activities like billiards and board games. Plus, we get a membership to a local gym. It isn't all a play, of course. We work very hard, but the perks make, make it better than any other job I can imagine. Lauren, Palo Alto, California. Okay. Thank you. Next one. Okay, thank you, sir. Go ahead. When I got my job as a project manager for a finance company in London, I imagined a modern building with views in the city and open workspace. When I arrived for my first day, I was pretty surprised. I found a typical cubicle farm with desks as far as the eye could see. It works for me, though. So, uh, I can concentrate in my own space and then talk with colleagues in the meeting rooms. We do have a great gym on the ground floor 
Sotar Sabonis, Catherine, London, United Kingdom. Okay, thank you. And the last paragraph. Last paragraph. Last paragraph, teacher. Okay. I work in a research laboratory at a botanical garden, working in a lab eastern, eastern as tedious as it sounds. That's because a lot of my work takes place in the greenhouses or outdoor doors. I love uh, spending time among plants and I enjoy working with other scientists who share my interest through the workplace. The workplace isn't very luxurious. Luxury. We have a thin break room that some people complain about, and there isn't a place to work out or anything but being outdoors. So much makes up for the this this disadvantage. Disadvantages. Disadvantages. Okay, thank you. Okay, the last paragraph says that we're in a research laboratory at the Botanical Garden, working in a lab, using a tedious as it sounds. That's because a lot of my work takes place in the greenhouses or outdoors. I love spending time on plants, and I enjoy working with other scientists who share my interests. Through the workplace isn't very luxurious. We had a tiny break room that some people complain about. And there isn't a place to work out or anything, but being outdoors so much makes up for the disadvantages. Marty Brown's New York. Okay, based on this example, uh, at the top of the page or, or the picture, we have a question. What is your workplace like? What is your workplace like? Tell us and see how other places compare. Okay, I'm going to start sharing and try, try to remember the question. What is your workplace like? I would like to, to get more info related with that. Okay. I am all ears. Tell me who wants to share. I like my workplace because it's a combination about in the field and in the office. Okay. Somebody else? In my case, teacher, my workplace is very comfortable. I have a, I have a desk. I have a table where I have uh, some books and notebooks. And um, it's really close to the window and also next to the door. So uh, it's not, it's not so, so hot, so, but it's very comfortable. I really okay. like it. Okay, okay. Volunteer, who wants to talk? In my case, it's very comfortable too. In eight. Air condition, air AC, AC, air conditioning, yeah, AC, 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 AC. Yes. Uh, um, my work normally is, is, is I, is I sit down 
in, in my desk. Um, ah. in, in a computer. It's a little stressful uh, because the client all, um, all fast. Fast the service. Or, or, and it's impossible the service, uh, fast service. For is news many. Minucioso, no sé cómo se dice. Detail, for detail. Detail, eh, meticulous. It, yes, it's travel ticket, it's forms or visa, eh, details. Um, um, it's, it's impossible error. No error. No error. No error. A letter, a number, a all exactly. But is is comfortable, and I like my work. Okay, you love your job. Yes, I love. Please. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. Saira, what can you tell us about your job? Side on. Are you there, side on? No, it's not there. Okay. Mm, what about you, Yesenia? Is it? Hello, are you there? What about, you? What about you? Okay, Carlos. Escobar. Okay, let's go. Uh, my job is very exciting. I have many problems, but always uh, try it. Try to help to help my co-workers in the last date. I make make feel I make me feel good. Me hace sentir bien. Ayudar. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Diana. Uh, well, I really like my job. Uh, I I have my own office, so, and also uh, unless I have a very uh, little experience, they my bosses uh, are very confident with my work. Uh, I have a lot of meetings, and they give me a, a food in the uh, breakfast and in the lunch, so I have a lot of safe with this <laughs> with this facility, and also I have uh, like fourteen salaries and for bonus. So I, I really love my job. <laughs> I think that I will be in this job for a long time. Okay, that is good. Congratulations. And the last one is going to be Anna Lillian. What about you, Anna Lillian? What can you tell us about your job? Hello? Me, teacher. Yes, you? Okay. Um, I like my job uh, because it allows the, my students. It is a 
the ambient harmonics and I have benefit and I have a learning learning thing from other the other the areas. Other areas, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we are going to, uh, as you see, uh, when we talk about this uh, topic, it's really important because suddenly you uh, look for, you are trying to look for a word and sometimes maybe it could be uh, difficult to find it, but later on you get another one and you keep uh, the conversation that is pretty good. And that is what I want. But uh, the thing that I want to tell you is that as soon as somebody uh, and speaking, I don't need to be asking the same question all the time. What I need is that all of you participate and try to speak and that way you are going to develop your skills. Of course, that uh, if you have a skill in, in, in writing and reading, it's pretty good, but Speaking, I consider that is the, the most important skill that we need to have in order to communicate. And so uh, for that reason, I'm including this kind of topic and that you are going to interact. And that way you are going to use all, all your knowledge, all your vocabulary, what you have in your mind. And if at the moment that you are speaking, you uh, notice that you don't have a word in your vocabulary. What you have to do is just to look it up in a dictionary and try to learn it. And that way, the next time you are going to use it. But everything is pretty good. I like that. OK. Today, we are going to have a, a lot of information related with the, with the topic. And I don't want to be saying, OK, who's next? Who wants to help me? No. As soon as somebody and read it and comment something uh, related with the topic, uh, somebody else, raise your hand and I'm going to let you read. And that way we are going to increase our vocabulary and skills too. Remember this is an intermediate level right here. Um, you need to be able to understand and also to explain a topic, a specific topic, because later on you are going to finish starting this module and you are going to start the advanced level and that means that uh, you need to be able to communicate and to understand exactly what somebody else is saying and and something that you listen in an audio or imagine that suddenly somebody is going to call you from a different country in the area that you are working you need to be able to understand exactly what he or she is saying and that way you are going to communicate with your boss or somebody else and your company is going to uh, grow, grow up in that way. For that reason, I recommend you to continue participating. It's, pretty, it's really, really, really important to do it. Okay, let me share the information that I have for today. Um, I got some questions here based on the material that we have. Uh, and I need that all of you tell me what do you think about. I don't know if you can see it now, just tell me. Can you see it? Yes or not? Yes, yes. Okay. I got two questions here. The first one say how how do you Pick, how do you pick the right 3PL for your business? What do you think about this? And the second one is price. The most important criteria to decide on the right 3PL. Let us talk about these two questions. If you got an idea, yes, tell me picture. Well, in my case, I think this, I consider this, I believe this. Or oh, based on my experience, maybe you got experience related with this, you can share with a group and that way we are uh, going to 
have more information related with the topic. Okay. I'm here waiting. How do you pick the right CPL for your business? What uh, are the elements that you are going to take into account at the moment that you are going to choose the CPL for your company or business? In my case, only uh, te technician, technician of fix the computer. Okay. Is a, a three, or for example, fix fix a, a light, a, a lamp, a LED lamp, or for example the door or other other things or fix other things person fix fixes other uh, other things for example okay thank you somebody else wants to talk CPL is like outsourcing. Yes. Okay, well, I think that the price maybe is not the most important. For example, uh, security in a bank, we need um, a security man that are very handled with the, with the people. So we need uh, outsourcing that give these uh, capacities to her workers so they can give us a better uh, a better effort i don't know okay thank you Another advantage that I see for TPL is uh, the time. Uh, a TPL has already they has uh, they roots and not only the, the security that Diana says, but also uh, they have, for example, uh, an, an insurance uh, about the package. So. Uh, this time that they that they use for delivering something, the company uh, can uh, they put their efforts in what they do best. Okay, thank you, thank you, Eric. Okay, let us continue. Thank you, Eric. Um, I'm still waiting. I know that you have pretty good idea related with this topic. So please share it with the group. Next, please. Next, please. No next. Let me show you again the question. Maybe uh, you don't know how clear. Okay, it's there. How do you pick the right CPL for your business? 
is probably the most important criteria to decide on the right CPL. Okay, tell us, what do you think about this? What else you can add about this? Imagine that you are the person in share of uh, choose a CPL for your business. How you are going to do it based on, on what? Teacher. Tell me. And my company, um many years ago um there were a warehouse and more personnel for the purchase okay um, the reason because this area um no working anymore is economic really but okay. the the time the this area uh, have a work um, if um, some months in the years in others months they don't have job <laughs> and the <there's a> <laughs> okay. and for this reason um, no more this area in my company. I got your point, but also uh, I consider it's really important that we have uh, a clear idea what is a CPL in order that you don't you don't get confused in order to do this I'm going to share some information. But I don't know uh, if somebody else want to share his or her idea related with the topic or the question. No. Is for the logistic, but in my company, the warehouse is the area was church the of the logistic too. Okay. Okay, remember that uh, what we are doing is just um, seeing what, what do you think about this question. And of course, um, we are going to respect your point of view. And at the end, we are going to see uh, what is the best option that we have. The second question uh, said is probably the most important at the moment that you are going to to look for a CPL, do you consider is the price the most important element that we uh, are going to take into account or not? Of course, uh, Eric mentioned something related with that, but I would like to hear from somebody else. What do you think about? Maybe price and labor church. Labor church. Okay. 
Okay, let us clarify what is, what is exactly the term what we are talking about. Okay, let me get bigger. I don't know if you can see it very well. So what exactly is a CPL? Who wants to read it in a slowly way in order that everybody can hear in the right way? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, so what exactly is 3PL? At the most basic level, 3PL offer logistic service to support certain aspects, sometimes all the aspects of shipping operation. Typically, 3PL providers are integrated into a company's warehousing and transportation process uh, by scaling and customers, customizing service. 3PL can best meet your specific needs. You can choose the level of involvement one has based on your needs and goals. They can provide a single service or deliver a bundle of services that extend across multiple aspects of your supply chain. These services work with your process, processes to increase your supply chain visibility. Additionally, leading TPLs create a value in a way that enhances your operational, financial, and end customer performance. Okay, thank you. Well, um, I would like to hear from some of you, what do you understand about, about this concept? In your own words. Because we are going to continue talking about CPL tomorrow and the, the rest of the week because it's, it's the main topic for us. And for that reason, I need to clarify the concept. You got some key words there and you can tell me. But I need to hear from you. Well, for me, I understand that X is a enterprise that are very specific in their business, in their sector, so they can do uh, work better than us, so we can uh, make a um, alliance, so can provide us uh, a better, they can provide us a, a service like transportation, security, and another, so they can do this work better because our business is another. Okay, okay. They are efficient in what they do, right? Okay. Let me see, I'm going to ask to somebody else to tell me. Because uh, what I want is to be sure if with this concept, you can uh, understand better this acronym. Teacher. Hello, sir. Um, I have a question. Okay. Uh, the, the term 3PL stand for uh, some specific word? Yes. Mm, yeah, because to me, um, with this paragraph, uh, I have some, I, I'm, I'm not really clear with it, honestly, <laughs> but I'm trying to, to get the idea, but I don't know if this uh, 3PL stands for uh, a specific 
or some specific stages or steps. Yes, and also I remember. Uh, ah, maybe uh, I didn't. I didn't see you yesterday. I mentioned it in Spanish also. I remember that I I, I told I told you to the group the meaning of the of the word three PL. It is called how to do with with logistic and what about the number? It is it is a third party logistic. That in Spanish, uh, I told you. I, I remember that I told you. Somebody remember? Hello. Hello. Okay, let me write it down here the meaning. And that way you are going to get some picture about what I'm talking about. Miss Ness. Okay, you got it there, sir. Miss Oil. I can see it. You got it? Yep. Okay. Okay, based on this, I don't know if you if you can get more, more picture in your mind related with the concept. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, I guess it's clarify your, I'm going to, no, I'm going to erase this. Okay, and you can see here, CPL provider are integrated into a company's warehousing and transportation producer. And also right here, you can find some keyword, some old aspect of shipping operation. You need to keep in mind all those aspects. Because maybe in your company, you can uh, PA the product, but somebody else has to, has to move it to different places and countries. And for that reason, you need to, to, to get familiar with CPLs. Okay, let us see something now. Okay, key example of CPL, the major function. We have transportation, as I told you before. Okay, somebody wants to read it. Key examples of GPL. Key, key example. Key examples. Key examples. Key examples of TPL. The major fu functions. Transportation. When it comes to transportation, TPLs can engage carriers, consolidate less than container load, LCL for less than truck load, TL LTL freight track freight payment and insurance document and work with prepaid fleets. Working with a TPL, 3PL can also help lower your transportation costs, drive efficiencies and develop solutions for complex supply 
change challenges and with connectivity to various phase of supply chain operation. Third party logistic providers are often able to provide real time visibility to your inventory as it is in the motion. The motion, okay. Key example of CPL, the measure function, transportation. When it comes to transportation, CPLs can engage carrier consolidate less than container load. The abbreviation LCL, that is the meaning of this, or less than trap load, LTL, freight trucks, freight uh, payment and insurance document and work with private fleets. Yeah, you got, uh, these are some examples. Working with a 3PL can also help lower your transportation costs, bright efficiencies, and develop a solution for complex supply chain challenges. And with connectivity to various phases of supply chain operation, third party logistics provide, are often able to provide real time visibility to your inventory at its it is in motion. And also, uh, right here, you can find that, that the words, uh, Misael, we have here. I don't know if, if, if it is clear, the concept? Um, yes, teacher. And um, I was like reading a little bit more uh, with some picture. And yeah, I realized that uh, 3PL has to do with, with carrier, or in this case, transportation. Yes, it's correct, it is. That means that your company, uh, what it's going to do is just to look for another service in order to be efficient. And, and, and uh, do you remember how I say it in Spanish yesterday? No se acordaron. In my case, I guess it was the, the moment where I lose the Ser connection. Servicio subcontratado de logística. Oh, the, that's new for me. Okay. Okay. Any questions so far from here? No? And I remember to create your own vocabulary related with new term. If you know all the words, sense God, okay? But if you don't, uh, try to do it. And as soon as you get a free time, try to look it up in, in a dictionary and you are going to increase your vocabulary. And I start using, not only just uh, learn the, the meaning, Try to use it, uh, use the word in, in, a, in a phrase, in a sentence, in a paragraph. And, and that way you are going to start increasing your vocabulary. Okay, uh, let us see something. Uh, what about global chicken? Who wants to read it? Global shipping. Shipping globally can be complicated and stressful for business. A TPL can handle global shipping logistic consideration like cost, freight for volume, and consolidating to relieve your allocate time and money for those processes. As a representative of a customer business, a third party logistic provide also works to require all freight compliance requirements are met. Costs are managed and execution goes as planned. Okay. Any comment related with this one?
Let us take a look at this. A third party logistic provider also works to require, require all trades compliance requirements are met, costs are managed, and execution goes as planned, you know? In another word, they, they are specialists in what they do. Okay, what about information technology? Somebody else want to read it? Me teacher. Okay, do it, sir. Information technology. Uh, 3PL often use information technology to manage e-commerce, customer relationships, transportation, and warehouse operations. Do like electronic data interchange, EDI, application programming interface, API, and cloud-based systems are the most popular tools, trust, by 3PLs, no matter which tools is utils. Utilize, the goal is to provide increased visibility to supply chain process as well as shipments in transit. Okay. What can you tell me about this? Do you remember when, uh, when we were in school, the teacher said, lectura comprensiva? Do you remember that? That, that that's mean that all the companies that, that we call it the CPL, they, they uh, use different kinds of technologies. As the paragraph mentioned, in order to have everything, con uh, have the control of everything, you know? And we have uh, three different uh, tools, like electronic data interchange, a app app application programming interface, Cloud based assistant. Maybe uh, they have more, but these are, are, are the principles that they use. Okay, let me see the time. Okay, according to the time, I need to check up again the attendance. Well, Don't forget to remember to share this info with you at the end of the class because you are going to need it. Okay, let me see if I got here. Okay, I got it. Adriana? Present. Okay, you are as a listener today. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz is kind of sick. Ana Lillian. Present. Okay. Ana. Ana Beatriz is there, I know. Yes, yes of course. Okay. Escobar? Present. Okay. Um, Selena? Selena? She's not here today? Okay. Mm. 
Diana or Stephanie? Present teacher. Okay, uh, Eric. Present. Francis. Not here. Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay, thank you, sir. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present, teacher. Okay. Laura. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Ok, María Elena. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Ok. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Ok. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Jenny. Jenny. It's not here. Yesenia Lisset. Present. Okay. Okay, okay. Let us see the material. Okay, uh, let us make a, a kind of break with the topic. And I'm going to remember some uh, vocabulary related with the, the previous, previous level. Okay. Okay, I need that you choose a, a, a category. We have personal, food, animal, body, clothes, letter, furniture, kitchen, and so on. Choose one, please. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Microphone, Wendy. No, teacher. Okay, I don't know if you have played uh, the game uh, Handman. Yes, teacher. Okay, let, let us do it now. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Misael. 
Could you start with the vowel or consonant? Uh, let's go with the vowel. Okay. A. Ah, you got it. Okay. Uh, tell me a name of your classmate. The one that I can see, let's see, Carlo Escobar. 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 Yes. Power or consonant? Consonant. Okay, tell me. Letter C. Letter C. My goodness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Give me a name of one of your classmates, please. Maria Concepcion. Okay, Maria, hurry up. Maria. She left. Somebody else, somebody else. You may know the name. Anna Lillian. Anna Lillian. <laughs> Uh, Vowel or consonant? Consonant. Okay, tell me. Letter P. Letter D. P. P? Yes. Okay. Ah. Okay, give me a name. Saira. Um, Saira. Saira. Are you there, Saira? It's not there. Okay, give me another name, please. Yesenia. Yesenia? Yes, Enya. Bauer. Um, okay, Bauer. I? Yes. Okay. Give me another name, please. Uh, I. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I, I need that you be careful because uh, we need to have very clear the ones that they already participate. Okay, but hurry up, please, hurry up. Okay, let me see. I'm going to choose somebody else because okay, Laura, Laura, tell me Laura. Letter N. Letter N. M. Yes. My goodness. Okay, uh, Maria Elena. Maria Elena, Maria Elena. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. T. Letter T. Yes. My. Okay. Okay, Maria Concepcion. Little M. N? Yes. No. Mayra. Mm, letter D. Letter D. Uh -uh. Ah. Okay, Jonathan. Jonathan, are you there? It's not there, Jonathan. T. 
teacher es que de una pista que es más o menos, hombre. Eh, I, I, show you, I show you at the beginning the category. And you, you didn't pay attention about that. Okay, let us see. Juan Carlos. Letter G. Letter G? G. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. okay, continue. Another. Another letter. Hurry up, Juan Carlos. R. Okay, R. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Um, Diana Stephanie. Vowel E. E. Uh -huh. Okay, give me another one. E S. S. Ah, uh -uh. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you got e it. L. Letter L. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to stop chatting. It is just in order that you can relax your mind. I told you at the beginning, I showed you the categories and I, I told you to see all the names. Okay, that, but I guess you already relax a little bit. Okay, we are going to continue with the topic. Well, we are going just to take a look about only just some information uh, and then we are going to do something else. Okay, what to consider when selecting a CPL provider? There are common third party uh, logistic provider to choose from and choosing the correct one for your business is essential. It is important to remember that when you work with a CPL, you are adding an extension to your business. So choose wisely. And how you are going to do with this? Okay, let me show you this. Okay, here are a few things for you to consider when making a CPL decision. Who wants to read the help? Volunteers? Me. Okay, Thelma. Here are a few, a few things, things for you to consider when making a PPL decision. Business volumes. Evaluate your organization's inventory and typical business volumes. Choose a logistic provider that you can handle with current oper operations and scale. Should, your, should you process increase or decrease? Okay. What you are going to take into account? You need to evaluate your organization inventory. And that way you are going to see what you are going to do. All depend on the, on the amount of products that you are going to move, how to do with that. The volumes. Okay, what about this one? Somebody else? Reference and past performance. See reference from the GPL's current customers to get a real sense of what is like to work with them. Pay attention to the ratio of on time versus delayed deliveries how they handle problems and how they communicate with their customers. It is a good thing when they have long-standing relationship with their customers. It means they build positive productive connection that are mutually beneficial. Ah, okay, it is a good sign when they have long-standing relationship with their customer. 
it means they build positive productive connections that are mutually beneficial. You need to look for, for reference before you are going to contract, uh, you are going to look for reference. And then you are going to find out if they are able to handle different problems and how they are going to solve it. This aspect is really, really important to do it. And what about technology? We already talked about technology. Look at the technologies for uh, your business use and pick a CPL that is compatible with them. You want to be sure that you choose CPL can work as seamlessly as possible with your current business operation. We already talked about three main aspects they use in technology. And you take into account all those aspects related with this in order that they are going to monitor and control uh, your merchandise in order that they keep it safe and, uh, and they are going to deliver the right place uh, with the right product, with the right uh, time. Do you remember the seminar? Somebody want to mention it? Okay, I guess I'm going to stop here. Because this topic we need to relate it with, I remember we, we were talking about the seven hours. Who wants to mention it? I don't see any hand. Yeah, I... No veo ninguna mano arriba. So tell me. You don't need to see any paper in order to mention it because I already mentioned some of some R's. Try to remember it. No se recuerdan de las siete R's. Right, brother. Ah, okay. That is one. Okay. Let me count it. Right one. condition. Right place. Right ah. condition, teacher. Okay. What else? Right price. Ah, okay. Right price. What else? Right customer. Right time. Ah. I know that you have in your mind. Okay. Okay, let us switch a little bit and uh, we are going to see the material. Let me see the page that we are going to study. We've been talking about this space. Okay, um, let me see, it is number 21. On page 21, you are going to find out the conversation I'm going to show you. And you are going to practice. Okay, let me see it here. Here we go. Okay, read the conversation between Bud and Daisy. They are discussing the option of hiring a CPL provider for their SOAP business. I guess uh, you already got some vocabulary related with this and you can read it. Okay. I'm going to read it. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic swap. Uh, don't you think it is time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, but as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third-party service. 
to the best of my knowledge, the shop, the shop is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging, choose a couple of those companies that the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Uh, you see the picture they are discussing about this topic. But I need to volunteer who want to perform the conversation. Who wants to do it? Hello. Hold on a second. I need to do something else. Okay, who wants to do it? Me, teacher. Okay. With, I need another volunteer who wants to do it. Me, teacher, Griselda. Okay, Griselda. Okay, I'm both. There is no more room in your house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take a business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on a Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bo. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a, a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy and I, I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, thank you. Any question related with the, with the conversation? Remember, they are discussing the options hiring a CPL provider for their sub business. So um, they need some advice, maybe, related with this. Because they said, I don't think, uh, I don't think so, but as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. Okay, any questions so far from here? No? Oh yes, tell me. And remember at the moment that you are going to perform a conversation, try to do it in a natural way, like uh, in the way that you speak Spanish. Remember that you are going to articulate in a different way uh, the words in English in order to sound uh, in, a, in, a, in a better way. Any question? Hello, hello, hello. Are you there? Oh, okay. Let, let, let us check out my, my microphone. No question at all, okay? Okay, let's go and practice. The only problem that we have is that, let me see, I got only just one listener. I don't see, let me see. Ah, I got two listeners. 
well i'm going to switch it later okay maybe they are busy doing something now okay teachers well. have two dispositives oh you got two two devices and yes. also uh let me see where is um beatrice is having problem uh, she has so rough i guess it's difficult for her to to speak well i'm, I'm going to create that the, the breakout run and then i'm going to switch it I guess five minutes, it is enough for this. Okay, let me, let me see first. Listener, I'm going to put you together because maybe you are busy doing something. Let me switch it. Um, okay. Ana Beatriz and Selena are right because they are not going to participate, I guess. But right here in the number seven, I have Adriana and Carlos. And I, okay. Uh, I know what I'm going to do. It. I'm going to do, I'm going to move Jesenia. You are going to be with Carlos. Yeah, seven. I'm going to send you to room seven. Okay, let me see now. Okay, number one, Mario and Mayra. Two is uh, Maria Concepcion and Zaira. Three, Santos and Wendy. Four, Laura and Maria. Five, Eric and Juan Carlos. Six, Ana Lilian and Diana. Seven is Carlos and Yesenia. Adriana is there, but it's a listener. Uh, let me see, eight. Jonathan and Maria Elena, and room nine it is Ana Beatriz and Selena. Selena is a listener, and Ana Beatriz is having problem. Okay, here we go. Practice and try to switch the role in order that you can practice. Very soon now. Me salió un dispositivo en cuatro y el otro en ocho. En which one do you do you want that I put it? En bueno, había el ocho. El que tienen en, en el cuatro lo quieren en el ocho. Sí, yes. Ah, pero se me va a quedar sola Laura, pero bueno, ya voy a mover a alguien más. Ahorita le envío a alguien a Laura porque Laura está sola. No, bueno, es Laura, 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 el salón. Jonathan is not there, I guess. Okay, I'm going to send you a uh, Laura. Laura is going to be there. Let me see. Let me see. Room eight. Okay, here we go.
Okay, let us do it. Could you start, uh, Mr. Escobar? Okay, teacher. We in Yesenia. Okay, we Jesse. Okay. Oh. I first. There is no more room in our heart for more of the organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third, third party logistics on Google. The service will help you out with the storage. I don't use so, but as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hear a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the sub is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packing. It was a couple of those companies from the internet. And then we can call, call them to get some advice. Okay. Okay, and now I need that you switch the role. Okay, teacher. Okay. There is no more room in the our house for more of your organic, organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? They found something called tier party logistics on Google. The service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third-party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soup is selling like, like crazy. And I believe it will help, help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of sourcing the packaging should a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, um, Escobar, could you repeat this word again? Knowledge. Knowledge, okay, knowledge. So don't get confused oh. with, don't get, don't get confused with soup. I confused teacher. Okay, okay. But don't worry, don't worry. Be careful, be careful. Okay. Let me show somebody else because and that way you are practicing. Okay, let us do it, Maida. It's your turn, Maida. Yes, teacher. Um okay. Mario. Oh, with Mario, okay. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Do you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could, you, could you help you with the storage. I don't think so, but as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the shop is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging, choose a group of two companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, I, I need that you repeat this for Mayra. Let me show you here. Maybe uh, I didn't hear very well. Okay, could you repeat this word? Cool. Couple, couple. A uh, couple. It's just a couple of those companies. 
Couples. Couples, those companies. A couple. Okay. Thank you. Uh, are you going to switch the role? Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something calling in the party logistics on Google. The service called the head of the of with the I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a big party service. The best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like this. It will help you to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of, of, of sourcing the packaging. Choose a couple, a couple of, of these companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Uh, Maria Elena, your turn. Maria Elena? Yes. With Laura. With Laura, okay, Laura. Okay. Yeah. Um, start your Maria Elena. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> that is room in our house for more of your organic soup. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called a third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so. Well, as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a tier part service. To the best of my knowledge, this sub is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of, of those com companies from the internet and then we can tell them to get some advice. Oh, okay. Finish this. Switch the okay. Uh, are you going to switch the role? Okay. Uh, call, them, is, call them to get some advice. Call them. Call them to get some advice. Yes. Okay. There is not more room in all house for more or your organic soup. Don't you think it is time to take business off of the house? I found some time called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you off with the storage. I don't think so, but as far as now, as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a party, a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, this soap is selling like crazy. And I believe it, it could help you to, to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging, choose a couple of this company from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay. Thank you to Remember, uh, at the moment that you are reading, you need to respect um, poise and tamas and different kinds of, uh, of sign that you can find there. 
for example, we have exclamation, question mark, um, and for the reason sometimes, uh, when we ask question in Spanish, we do it in this way, you know, but in English, we have rising and falling intonation. For example, when you ask this question, say, do you, don't you think it is time to take business out of the house? Yeah, I, I, I need that you start reading uh, in a different way. Remember that you need to breathe the pot to get air, and that way it, it is gonna be better for you. Okay, I'm going to read the last time in order that you can get uh, some ideas. And saying this way, there's no more room in our house for more of your organic self. Do you think it is time to take business out of the, the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. The service could help you out with these stories. I don't see so, but as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the shop is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging, choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Well, I invite you to practice in, to continue practicing with somebody else. Maybe uh, in your free time you can do it or you can read it. And if you have doubt about any where you can look it up and today we have, nowadays we have a different um, method how we can resolve some problem related with this. Okay, cause of the time uh, we need to go to the next activity that is number three. And I'm sorry for the rest if they want to, to, to practice, but because of the time, we are going to work in activity number three, say, pay word, read the conversation again, and answer the question. We have three different questions. Number one said, our body and they she have a problem to sort the products. Do they know a lot about CPLs? And the number three said, do you think modern days it will consider prices when hiring a CPL? Okay, you are going to work with somebody else. And that way you are going to uh, discuss the answer of this question. If you don't have the material, make a screenshot now, please. In order that you can have it, then you are going to discuss it. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to give you yes. We have three question. Well, four minutes is enough. Let me see if we can use the same group that we have. No, I don't know why. Santos Misael is alone now. Misael is alone. My goodness. Let, let me recreate again because I guess it's gonna be better. Or at least that I move, I'm going to move Misael to another room. Okay, I'm going to send you to room number. Let me see the time that we have for this. Okay, I got it. Okay, here we go. Let us talk about this. And Wendy is there too. My goodness. I need to move maybe again. Misael, I'm sorry. I had to move you to Wendy to. Let me see. Wendy is there. Yeah, well, Juan Carlos is in the Maria Concepcion. Saira, Saira, Saira.
Wendy, move Wendy. Ni nadie. Ay, no. I was actually think, ellos están pensando nada más subcontratar el pacachi y no, no toda la logística. Hi, teacher. Inventando. I got, teacher. You. I got you. I got you. Inven, teacher. Inven ahorita. Estoy con Ay. las dos Marías. Ay. No, teacher. <risa> Es que María Elena tiene, estamos en un grupo de tres. Ok. Teacher, la, la segunda pregunta no la, no la entiendo bien. Ellos conocen acerca de las tres PL, quiere decir algo, algo así. Sí, yes. Do they know about, uh, a lot? sí ellos conocen lo suficiente sobre la uh, CDPL. Ellos solo por Google han investigado. Ah, entonces ellos conocen el libro que
Okay, who wants to read question number one? Hi, Rick. Okay. Are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their products? Um, with Laura um, speaking about they have a problem with the storage. Okay, and now the question, the, the answer of the question is? Storage, with the storage. No, uh, uh, um, let, 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 let us see this. Let us see this way. According to the structure of the question, what is the right answer? Grammatically, talking sería, about, about the structure. ¿Cuál sería la mejor manera having, de dar la respuesta? Bob, with the storage. No. Are bought and they she have a problem <laughs> to the store they product? Yes, sure. they have a problem with the storage. Is this a yes no question or an information mm -hmm. question? Yes, no question. Ah, okay. Uh, pues if is if yes. yes, they have. <laughs> yes, they how? No, why they have? Mm. Yes, they. Yeah, they have in teacher. No. I know teacher. Take a look at the question. Are bad and they having problem to store their product? Yes. They are having They are. Are they are? They are teachers. They are having. Yes, they. They are. are. Yes, yes, they, they are. are. Okay. Don't no, forget the structure to give answer to yes no question. Okay. We started in basic level. Okay. Question number two. New teacher, okay. Yesenia. Okay, Yesenia, tell me. Do they know a lot of about GPLs? They don't have knowledge about to be a Okay, could be the answer that way. They have some basic knowledge about CPL, but not a lot, okay. And the last one? Number three, please. Number three. I got 18 and I don't, I don't think that I'm, I'm not going to find somebody that wants to read this question. Me teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. Do you think Bob and Daisy will consider prices when hiring at 3 p.m.? Okay, the answer is According to the, the conversation. What yes, is? they do. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let me see the time. Okay, I'm going to stop chatting and I'm going to check up the attendance again because we are so close to finish. Thank you very much. I really appreciate all your participation. And I invite you to do it every class. Okay, Adriana. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Try to get some medicine, Ana Beatriz. You need to look for medicine naturally. It's gonna be very natural. 
Hello, teacher. You need to drink something hot with uh, ginger and honey, and I don't know what else you can put there. Yes, the, I take in manzanilla, ginger, and lemon. Okay, okay. <laughs> and be careful with the with the AC. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, Escobar? Present. Selena? Present. Selena, are you there? Yes, okay. My goodness. Diana? Present. You, uh, Eric? Okay, Francis, not here. Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, Laura. Present teacher. Eh... Maria Concepcion. Mary. Maria Elena. Mario Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Present teacher. Okay, Mayra. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. No, Jenny today. Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, hold on a little bit. I need to check out something here. Got into the topic and the list number 11. Laura Carolina, today is your turn. I need to talk with you at least 10 minutes related with the topic. I don't know if it is possible that you stay at the end of the class. Laura? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. We are number 11 in the list. And teacher, I, a mi no me paso lista. Saira Mar Marlene. My God, let yeah. me see. Saira Marlene Larin. I'm sorry, I did really yeah. sorry. Okay. I thank you. It. Okay, you're welcome. Well, then, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Try to rest because tomorrow we have to work a lot and try to read if you have the time. Don't forget to, uh, to take a look at the material and that way you are going to get familiar with the words and with the new vocabulary. So please try to practice. And thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? Good night. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody have a, a question. Has a question. ¿Quién tiene una pregunta? Beatriz. Yes, teacher. En la plataforma hay el 22 que solo está tomando 18 puntos. No sé si ya se lo habían comentado. Eh, más creo que sí. Ojo, si hay algún error, por favor, envíenmelo inbox porque yo necesito enviar ese reporte para que corrijan eso, porque la plataforma eh, la captura, me envió la captura, me la reenvía, por favor, que tengo la de la semana, papá. Uh, tengo a Lara Information. Ok, I'm going to look it for, uh, uh, um, for it. Ok, thank you very much. Envíenme, ahí me lo recuerdan, por favor. Voy a enviarlo de nuevo. Sí, el problema es que se, se ha unido un ejercicio. Entonces, ¿cómo van a dar 20 si, son, si no si falta un ejercicio? Imposible. Ok. Eso es lo que pasa. Vale, me lo envía el comentario así como me lo está diciendo para, para yo trasladarlo al, al lugar correspondiente. Falta okay. un ejercicio. Bye. Ok, thank you. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, see you.
Eso, Laura. I can hear you. I can hear you. Your microphone. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> en esta pregunta yo las había hecho como complementaria con, con cómo se llama. Con María Elena. Por eso es que le había puesto la respuesta larga. Ah, ok. Sí, tenían problemas. <laughs> Ellos tenían. Yes, ok. For the next time, you need to be careful about the type of question. And based on the question, you are going to give uh, an answer. Ok. Yes, they do. Pero cuando dijeron la segunda y la tercera que solo se contestaba, they, yes, they do. Así sería. La número. La número dos y la tres. Do they know yeah, a lot that, about 3PL? Yeah, do they know a lot of, uh, uh, do they know a lot about 3PLs? Yeah, right there you can say, uh, yes, they do or no, they don't. But also uh, right there you can add some information. Habíamos hecho así larga también. Yes. Sí, ahí Ellos ser. tienen poco conocimiento, habíamos puesto nosotros. Sí, ahí, ahí puede ser más válida. Ah, ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Yo else? tengo problemas de pronunciación, teacher. <ríe> y de listening. Ahí, 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 ahí vamos, ahí vamos, ¿cierto? Sí, yo sé, teacher, que yo me ayudo si viera que... Yo estoy con estas clases, pero realmente yo no tengo una inducción de un diplomado aparte o estudio previo al inglés, ¿me entiendes? Ah. Aquí voy aprendiendo. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, y algo estoy entendiendo de esto, de, del marketing, y, y ya me voy a lanzar a esa carrera, quizás, teacher. Eso, eso. Pero sí está algo complicado, teacher, hablar fluidamente el inglés. Hay veces uno tiene la idea, pero a mí me cuesta eh, expresarla. Okay. Entonces, aunque yo hago mi tiempito aparte para estudiar, no crea. Sí, comprendo. Todo el proceso. Ok, teacher. Pero recuerde que la práctica hacia el maestro. Eso es cierto, teacher. Sí, yo pienso, o sea, yo me autoayudo yo sola, teacher, este, escuchando audios así de los verbos para que no se me olviden, porque como uno es trabajando, a veces le cuesta mucho, ya en la noche okay. ya uno cansado, vea, ya no, ya no quiere ver libros. <risa> ok. Pero ahí estamos, teacher, haciendo el esfuerzo, el effort, le iba a decir yo. Eso. Effort o e for. I for, effort. E for. Effort, ok. Ya ve, hago una mezcla de español y yo ahí con, con inglés. Ok, pa, pa, pero más creo que ya este nivel uh, ya comprende más cuando yo explico algo, ¿cierto? Fíjese que sí, teacher. Lo que pasa es que me cuesta un poco por el, por el oído, digamos. Igual, oh. como usted va, cuando va hablando, va escribiendo, ¿verdad? Y me voy viendo algunas palabras que... Eh, las escribe, ¿verdad? Entonces, más o menos, como si ya sé cómo conoce, ahí voy amarrando, digamos. Okay. Pero no crea, teacher, si hay veces cuando nos pone a hacer en estos ejercicios, bueno, cuando me ha tocado con algunos compañeros que no, me dicen, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Yo entendí, pero no sé, le digo, estoy segura, aquí estamos dos o tres, pero yo creo que dijo que pusiéramos un número. Ayer, por ejemplo, con quien me tocó, no sabía que era de los pasos estos que dio, lo, oh. enumerar, okay. los es, The step to outsource the deep, deep pair party logistics provider. Okay. Numerar, numerar eso. Entonces él, él lo había hecho distinto, pero yo le dije, no, yo creo que es ponerle un número porque entendí number y la instrucción. Así dice también del ejercicio 2, le dije yo. Sí, perfecto. Si, si, si hay veces le entiendo, hay veces me quedo callada porque digo, así ha de ser eso, digo yo. <risa> Pero ahí vamos, teacher. Yo sé que, que, o sea, para el nivel que estamos tendríamos que ser más avanzados. Yo sé que algunos sí están avanzados, pero yo, como le digo, aquí he aprendido, teacher. Ok, ok. Aquí he aprendido un poco y, y, y sí, pues, este, yo sé que tendría que tener un poco más de, de mi esfuerzo para poner más de mi parte, mejor dicho, para poder comprender un poco más. Pero, como le digo, pues, me autoayudo, teacher. 
Okay, the, 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 one of the, the principal situation there is that you need to educate your ears, charge yes. your ears, you, and, and that way you are going to understand exactly what I explained. Mm -hmm. As soon as, if you get the information, uh, you are going to be able to uh, resolve the exercises. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher, no, sí. No, no, no crea, yo hasta a mis compañeros de trabajo le digo, no, le digo, estoy en la clase de marketing, que todo el libro ya me lo leí en inglés, le digo, ya soy experta en marketing, creo que a eso me voy a dedicar, le digo, Con términos que no sabía, pero se me han quedado, hay veces no los expreso, pero digo, ah, hablo de tal cosa, o sea, que es la, como le dijera, es un estudio de marketing, pero aquí está en el libro en inglés, pues prácticamente lo he leído y se me ha quedado a la manera que lo he entendido la parte en español. Entonces, por eso le digo que ya voy a ir buscando un empleo enfocado al marketing, teacher. Ah, that is really good. Sí, teacher. Así okay. que creo que ahorita ya estamos con los 11 minutos. Ah, ok. We got ra ra rápido se fueron, me, teacher. Ok. I don't know if you have a, another question related with the topic or something else. No, teacher. Okay. Ahí vamos a ayudar. Igual las dos preguntas que las chicas nos pusimos también en Chaca a quererlas solventar, pero yo creo que en una de esas el ejercicio, en la primera está, en el mismo ejercicio están las dos preguntas, por eso es que no, no, no yeah. cuadra. O sea, no, no suma. Yes. No okay. suma los dos puntos. Ok, oh, Ok, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow okay. and continue studying and that way you are going to develop your speaking. That is really important. Sí, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, ok, ok. Yes. Y, y, ya, y ya no piensa en español tanto porque eso es lo que... Ay, que, que me cuesta, teacher. Sí. A tengo las palabras así yo. Aquel, aquella vez le quería decir que, que, si, ah, que si usted quería que volviera a repetir, pero creo que me acordaba del, del verbo one. O sea, dije yo, es querer, I like, it, you like. O sea, no era you want to, es, este, repri, sí. repic. Eh, si, diálogo, si, si es pregunta, tendría que ser do you want? Do, ah, you, want, do, you, do want you want? Pero creo que me acordé del want teacher. Like, le dije, ay, like me gusta también o querer, pero de otra manera, no sé. Confusion teacher. Ok. Ok. Ok, sí, bye bye, take care. Bye, Thank see you. you tomorrow, teacher. Ok, ok, bye bye.